It's Ketchup Packets. Hey, everybody. I'm Nate. I'm Sean. And this is Ketchup Packets. And today we are going to be watching Season 1, Episode 8, Chapter 8 of Barry, called Know Your Truth. Chap uh, wait, okay, so if we're gonna do the chapter titles, those are in the episode name, right? So season one, episode yeah. eight of Barry. Mm -hmm. chapter, chapter eight, eight, know your truth. Yep. We gotta get these chapter. It's the season finale, okay. Yay. We, the title doesn't matter, and I shouldn't be a stickler. <laughs> know your truth. That's what it's called. Mm hmm So, what do you think, Nate? Um well, I think that uh in terms of the the episode name, I think that Barry's gonna have to reckon with the actuality of his life choices mm -hmm. here, you know, yeah. just shot his friend, um, just did his first piece of real acting, real powerful, emotional performance, mm -hmm. only because he was completely breaking down mm -hmm. because of that. Yeah. Um, Picturing his friend's wife as she got mm -hmm. the call that he was dead. Yeah. He yeah. also staged his friend's murder to look like a suicide. Just to make it extra painful for the loved ones he left behind. It's just so brutal, man. Yeah. It's really just not a good... God, I do not condone it. No, we do not <laughs> condone murdering you. Yeah, Nate, yeah. don't murder me. Yeah, okay. No matter I'm what you think I'm going to say to who. Yep, doesn't matter. Uh, all right, well... Not you know, allowed. Just try to keep your cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm, I'm going to keep my trap yep, shut. Yeah, there you go. That's all you got to <laughs> do, and then we're good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean... I don't think Barry's not an actor. Not yet. You know? yeah, I guess. But the titles are moving. Like the episode titles started as stuff that could all be an assassin or an actor, and then the last couple titles seem like they're more actor than more assassin. Actory. You know, so he's trying to transition away. You yeah. Know? It's not a. He don't just flip a switch and stop being an assassin. It's a slow process. I mean. You know? I feel like one could, but not with a partner like Fuchs. No, Fuchs is He's not making, making it this as easier. hard as possible. Yeah, man. I feel like pretty genuinely yeah. evil guy. I feel like most assassins, if they're like working alone or whatever, they could just be like one more and done. Mm -hmm. Fuchs is just uh, yeah, it's just being an asshole, being selfish. Yeah. Making it about him, and now he's in big trouble. Yes, he is. Yeah, Should we yeah. see what that trouble is? Should we see what's going to happen on the season finale of Barry? Yeah, let's let's jump on in. All right. Here we go, everybody. What an existence this man leads. Mm -hmm. Sitting in a hotel room collecting money. Barry, you're alive! You're fucking alive! What the fuck? Hey, whoa! What, you okay? What are you doing there, buddy? Taking my money. I'm gonna leave. Oh, you, your money. Your money, that's funny. Because, you know, it's our money, buddy. That, that money is our money. Ah! You deserve that. Yeah, just come here, fucking hit me in the face! Sir! Uh. Stop talking, Fuchs. Yeah. I'm done, Fuchs. Starting now. Fucking truth! Fuchs's teeth are a theme on this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Born here. Okay, it's also here. Why would you go? Yeah. Like, he thought they were trying to kill him, right? Yep. Seems very risky to just go there. He's a negotiator. Thought oh, we needed to talk. About what? About how you fucked up my entire operation? I... About how you took me into going after Stash House and start war with Bolivians? Warren, respectfully, as I recall, I mean, I, I asked you what you wanted. You said the Stash House, and I said, well, take it. You know, but really, I said it like a... I said it like a, a jazz musician would say, you know, like, your turn to riff, man, take it away! Screwed okay, Fuchs. I can't, I can't, you know Angry what? treadmill walking. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't run, did I? Barry's alive! No way, Jose. Yeah, say. No way, he's alive, and I can <laughs> give him to you. Gordon, yeah. out of respect, I can lead you right to him, and all I... Thank you, so relieved. Hurt. Yeah. You and I are good again, okay, buddy? Also, there's a small amount of money he took from me, which is right in mind, so... Private. Right away, he's ready to sell yeah. out Barry to protect himself. The thing is, Barry turned on me. You know, he tried to kill me. <laughs> I raised him like a son. That's an exaggeration. Yes, he did. Yes, it is. <laughs> this tooth, you see how loose it is? You see right there? He can fix that. Ah! Oh. Dead! Oh. Fixed! Yes! Now! Yes! Yes! 
reap what you sow, bro. Hey, hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Come on. Ah! Ah! Hey. He's got a Wrestling, right? Circular saw. <laughs> you are in America now, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the song Fly Like an Eagle, performed by Seal on the Space Jam soundtrack? If I'm Body, I fly like an eagle. Are you in love with Body? You are weak. We will go. You will stay here and help Oksana with dishes. Go on. Don't be like that. Yeah, won't be like that. Hank is so nice. Yeah. Goran made this mess for himself. Goran says soon he's going to your acting class to find you. So I suggest you take our money and, you know, fly like Bug Bunny in Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hank. No, thank you, Ben. Thank you for your friendship. You're a super good guy. I have to go. Hank's looking out for him. The loneliness of Barry's life. Yeah. Is that beach from Grand Theft Auto V? <laughs> kinda looks like it. Now watch, Ruslan. This is how you get rid of someone in a mere church. That's gross. Yeah, well. Whoa. <laughs> Oh. 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 Hey! Barry! He did say, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna kill every single one of you. I fucking love you so much! Remember? In like yeah. the first or second episode? That's right. Oh my god! I gotta get my tooth! I fucking forgot. Should have let him take his tooth. It's evidence. And the cops are on their way to Goron's right now. <laughs> well, I burned a CD for this very moment. Lost mix. Apocalypse now, motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's Flight of the Bumblebee. Apocalypse now is Ride of the Valkyries, you idiot. You guys like iced tea. Poor Hank, man. Now I feel bad for him. Yeah, I can call Barry. <sighs> Body. Man, he thinks it's funny that Barry did this. Yeah. He's a total psychopath. No, listen, up. You're made for this job, all right? You just proved it at bizarres. It's who you are. I don't know. It's, it's, it's who you made me. I'm done with you, Fuchs. Okay, fine. You, you don't want to see me anymore? That's great. That's great. I still get half the money. You can't have all the money. Get out. I'm done with you. I'm done with all this starting right. Yeah. It's moving along. Take some of the money. Airport police not going to care that Fuchs is so bloody? Has a giant bag of money. Yeah. Yeah, this is all bad. Okay, fellas. All right, what's going on here? All right, let's go. Thank you. Isn't all he right. gonna have more questions? Nope, get out of the car. Barry. I guess Barry. it's his job to keep that lane clear. <laughs> what's that there? Hey. You see what they just picked up? Is that a tooth? Yeah, it is. 
led us to the conclusion that rival crime organizations from Chechnya, Bolivia, led by these two men, Oren Pizar and Cristobal Sapuentes, were baited into war by this man, Taylor Garrett, and his partner, the ringleader of the entire operation, this man, Richard Kremp, a.k.a. Ryan Madison. While he posed as an actor and a physical trainer, his primary... The Ryan's poor family has to believe yeah, that he was yeah. leading a secret criminal double life. At this point, we are highly confident hmm. that Mr. Garrett and Mr. Madison acted alone. <laughs> the Bolivians so are so short. With these men yeah. trying to pit two crime organizations against each other, thus reaping the benefits of their demise. Who are you doing calling me? You cracked the case. You owe me a swift kick in the balls. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> and you're talking about my process and stuff. I don't think that can be my process. I don't think I can go to that place again. Barry, sit down. Ugh. Sally, you have no idea okay. what's going on here. What you did the other night was real. I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> I and I know right. that to get to a real place like that, you had to draw on something so painful. You're a real actor, Barry. I saw it. And I don't say that to a lot of people. Look, I know where you went, and I know how hard it is. I really, I do. But it's not always going to feel like that. Whatever it is that you were drawing on the other night, you can tell me about it. Mm -mm. Thanks. Well, I mean, I just told you about my marriage, so. No, that's true. She's like so offended that he would decline to open up. It's okay. Wait, you want to do a play with me? Yeah, we work well together. Don't worry, you don't have to get too heavy. It's not a drama, it's a comedy, so all you have to do is talk really loud and fast. Anyone can do it. You want to do a comedy with me? Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I, yeah, let's do it. Okay, yay. That sounds awesome. Okay, so we'll start rehearsals Tuesdays and Thursdays. Prolonged blackness. Yeah. I was waiting for credits. Janice is here. Oh, does that mean I have to get up? Yeah. You gotta help her with her bags. Uh... Oh. My. God! This is... Welcome to my sanctuary. <laughs> get up here. It's a cozy, cozy little place, babe. And this, this is the poster for the new show. Yeah. Yeah, we just settled on that fund. The Barry Block. Oh, uh, that's my stage name. Yeah, it's catchier than Berkman. Oh, is it? So I understand it's a Christmas <laughs> show, Barry, right? Yeah. I made a stop, but I'm sad to see I'm on my is it Harry Belafonte? Won't be back for many a day. This is all too happy. This is about to get real bad real fast. What could possibly go wrong? She recently uh, was in the running for a pilot on Fox. I, I didn't get it though. But it was between her and another girl. And but my point is, is that people in town are talking about her. You know, I mean, someone this talented can't go unnoticed for too long. Mm. You're nice. I'm just telling the truth. You have to give yourself more credit. I mean, Barry's an actor. He so did the first it. Time yeah. I saw this kid perform, huh? He improvised a monologue about a soldier that came back from Afghanistan who got a job as a hitman, right? Then he worried. He said, Oh my gosh, maybe I am only good at killing. <sighs> he wanted work outside of killing. Am I right? I, I got it pretty what good, is right? This? Very emotional. I, I don't remember that. What are you talking about? It was in the parking lot. I'm sitting in the car. You're standing at the window. When I heard him do this monologue, I said to myself, shit, this guy has got something. He's so bad at playing it cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Why would Janice put the router up on the shelf? Oh, 
If this guy was someone you knew, you'd recognize him. Janice, Janice, hey. Hey, Barry. I used to work for a man who, who talked me into doing some really bad stuff. I did everything I had to do to put it behind me. And I did it. It was hard, but I did it. And everything's so good right now. I'm a good person. Are you, Barry? Wow. We want the same thing. We, we want to be happy. We want love. We're the same. But we're not. We're not the same, Barry. Because I'm a cop. And you're a fucking murderer. So. I'm going to need you to walk back up to the cabin. No, no. Listen, I'm going to cuff you, me. and then I'm going to make a phone call. We Do you understand? No, no, we can figure this out. Let's talk Barry. about this. Please. Mm. Barry. Janice, please. Barry! Move. You like you've seen Barry do this before? Yep. If there's one thing he will not abide, it's accountability for his actions. Nope. As long as he can get out without accountability, he's good. Think about what this will do to you and Jean. You guys seem so happy. This could, this could end all that. I can't think about that now, Barry. I talk her out of it really hard. Barry got off like three or four shots since she just got mm -hmm. off one. It's after sunrise. You had to get rid of her. Couldn't just leave her out there like that. Mm. Now. Dude. Well, there we go. There's a wrap on season one of Barry. Oh, man, Janice, can't you just leave well enough alone? Do you have to? I mean, she's an investigator. Right. You, like, and she's her brain's probably always like, Barry Flock, haven't heard that before, you know, like. Well, and it never all... sat right that he didn't have a Facebook page and mm -hmm. that she always, something yeah, she about always Barry never. Him. Yeah. yeah. It was... And Barry deserves accountability for his actions. Yes, Let's he be clear does. the right thing to do is to hold Barry accountable. <laughs> Not to leave well enough alone and say, oh, come on, it's all done. No, you killed mm -hmm. people, Barry. She seemed to recognize Chris's name immediately. Mm -hmm. Like, probably as a Marine who was tied to Taylor when they were investigating all that stuff. Well, yeah, and I mean, he was found in his car, like, having mm -hmm. committed suicide, like, yeah, yeah, right after all that other stuff yeah. happened. You probably, I mean, probably talked around the apartment mm -hmm. about that, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. But Guy she... with no indicate with the family, no indication of other problems, you know? Yeah. Sort of like a... Uh, a movie we watched for the channel recently, Gone Baby Gone, oh, yeah. where something just didn't quite sit right with Janice about that mm -hmm. case. It's like, it's all tied up, and then we have the whole package, but something's not She's quite right. not you know? quite right, yeah. yeah. And then... I really, you know, you know from a character perspective, you're, I know you're right, but I still just kind of wanted everything to... Get, but then there yeah. couldn't be a season two unless... I mean, obviously, the, the gangsters are now mm -hmm. together, you know. Barry killed all of... All the All Cheshire's Hank's friends. So we yeah. got Hank with the Bolivians now. Mm -hmm. But we also got that time jump at the end of the the end of the episode there, where you know, like it's been months and mm -hmm. they're ready with their next comedy thing now, you know? Yep. So a lot of people I was interested to see 
if you would think this, because a lot of people are confused at that ending and think that it's another one of Barry's fantasy sequences. Like, we've mm -hmm. seen him imagining the future he would want several times. Right. And a lot of people are like, is this a fan? No, it's going on too long. And so it's, mm -hmm. you know, I was interested to see if you would suspect that, but it didn't seem to I be a thought you I did for a second, but just the fact that Janice was there mm -hmm. made me... Yeah, like, he wouldn't think Why would yet. he ever want that you know mm -hmm. i would have, i would assume it would just be like him and sally at a cabin like by themselves practicing yeah. their next you know maybe whatever. with gene would make maybe sense with too gene. yeah yeah, but yeah it's true the presence of janice does mm -hmm. make it clearer right away that that's reality but it's uh, it's an interesting thing to do at the end of a season to do the big time jump mm -hmm. like that instead of have that be something between seasons or whatever but yeah the long the long dark you know the long black screen Mm -hmm. And it made me feel like it was like an epilogue. Yeah. What was happening. But yeah, it was it went on for quite a while. Yeah, I mean I think they sort of were wanting you to think that you were watching an epilogue, kind of a happily ever after mm -hmm. sort of thing. Like, oh look, it all worked out and they're all fine. Barry's an actor. He got out of being a hitman like he wanted. And but... kind of technically as long as they never find her body, he could have it could kind of all be tied up. I can't really think of another. I mean, except for that they have Fuchs's tooth. That's like the other the other last little piece. I don't think Hank's interested in yeah. pursuing any of this, you know. I mean, I guess all that stuff is technically tied up, but in terms of like Barry's life just being a happily ever after smooth sailing kind of thing now, I mean, Janice is clearly Gene Cousineau's serious relationship at this point, and she's gone. Even if they don't ever find her, she's still vanished, you know, that's if Gene Cousineau is an important presence in Barry's life, this is yeah. still a big piece of turmoil that's now going to be around for him. That's Even true. if it's not directly the same mess that it was, it's still now Gene is going to be living in a really emotional place of Janice Van... You know, she's a missing person in the best case scenario. Mm -hmm. And it was just the four of them out there. Mm -hmm. So like, who done it? kind of situation in his head. I'm sure he'd be playing that over and over in his head being like, possibly... Have happened. Have yeah. Happened, did did yeah. she fall in the lake? Did she what? You know. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. so. That's all stuff to wonder about for the second season. Yeesh. And what do you think about Fuchs? He got put on a plane and sent back to <sighs> Cleveland or whatever they wherever they came from. Just like my rule about watching a character die in a show. You know, unless I see them actually die, breathe mm -hmm. their last breath. I assume they lived somehow. So Goron's dead. We Goron's know that. dead. <laughs> yeah. Yep. When you're when your head's open like that, squirting you know, everywhere, squirting, <laughs> your body's covered in a sheet. You're not getting up after that. But Fuchs could very well have not even gotten on a plane. He's mm -hmm. got all this money now too. He's just they just kind of let he just kind of left him. Yeah, you know. So and he didn't really didn't want to go. And I would assume kind of won. He, I wouldn't put it past him to go make things complicated for Barry just kind of out of spite. Right. Well, we saw he was ready to sell Barry out in two seconds as soon as Barry punched him just to right. try to buy his own safety from the mm -hmm. Chechens back. So, yeah. But I mean, like... I think spite is a motivator he would have. Yeah. I, but even in that case, he was like, I might be able to save my own skin if... Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Barry took care of that problem for him. But he's this entire time seemingly kind of willing to be like... he. He thinks of Barry as being like kind of his property. You can sort of see, a weapon he has. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why he was the one that always held all the money and stuff like that. He was like this close to being like your money. That's my money. Mm -hmm. But then he was like our money. Yeah, you know, like uh, that's not what he was thinking in his head. No, he just realized that, that was the smartest thing to say in the moment. Yeah, that's my money. It's my suitcase. My money. This is my operation. Yeah, you, exactly. you work for me. You know exactly. Yeah. Well, and that's when he was saying, you're made for this job, Barry. This is who you are. And Barry said, this is who you made me, you know? Mm -hmm. And so he's realized that Fuchs is the influence that turns him into this kind of a person. I wonder if she considered even for one second just being like, the case is over. This is tied up. I don't have to ruin set. You know, like, this is going to throw all of her personal relationships, like, into discourse as well. It's not... Yeah. Or Discord, I guess. Mm hmm English, man. It's okay. It was yeah. close. I yeah. got what you meant. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Man! I am excited to see where this goes next. It's... Yeah. Well, and it's interesting to see she maybe wasn't going to, you know... All she was doing was looking up the name and seeing, you know... She was looking into things and just sort of tracing down the little itch that she had in mm -hmm. her mind. 
And then all of a sudden, Barry's right there and he's saying, Janice, you can't, you know, like, so suddenly she's pushed to, okay, you're choosing about this right now. Here's, you know, here he mm -hmm. is. He's telling you not to do it. So you have to choose, do it or don't. So maybe if she'd had some time to mull it over, you're right. Maybe she could have weighed options and decided it wasn't a good decision to try and pursue that. But he forced her hand and yeah. made her decide right then. And if she's, you know, without any time to think, you're going to go for the, mm -hmm. the just, the right thing to do. Right, know? right, right. So. Especially the thing you just discovered. I was right. Mm -hmm. I was right the whole time. Everyone exactly. calls me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta want to tell Loach, you know? You yeah. Know, like I was, I told you. <laughs> maybe let her sleep on it. Mm -hmm. You know? Let yeah. Let her decide if she actually wants to blow all this up now that she, you know. Yeah, if Barry was smart, maybe he wouldn't have initiated a conversation right then. Keep it, you know that she figured it out, so just watch her, you know? Keep an mm -hmm. eye on Janice, see what she's gonna do. Yeah, I don't, I mean, in his mind, maybe he was like, this, I don't know, I'm gonna have another opportunity like yeah. this to have her alone. Exactly, right, you know, yeah, he in can't. In the middle of the night, it's, like. It's too much of a loose end to have, she could call somebody as soon as she leaves his sight. Yeah, it's, it's true. Well, you'll have to see where it goes for the next season. Yeah. I really like this show. The tone changes, just the, the sort of like, I don't know. It's got that kind of Breaking Bad feel. Yeah, it's also I was just going to ask. comedy in it. Yeah, it's, th it's totally my style. I never was quite sure what made me compare it to Breaking Bad so much, but I feel like there is something about it that's sort of the same. It's about somebody living with secrets, I guess, mm -hmm. and that's a big connection to it, is that it, you know, when you're watching this show, just like when you're watching Breaking Bad, it just sort of makes you wonder to what extent you can really know the other people in your life, you know? It's yeah. like, I know the interactions I have with them and what they say to me, but when they leave, they could literally go do anything, mm -hmm. and you have no way of knowing what people are doing when they're not in your presence. That's you know? why I never snoop around on my friends. Because yeah. I don't want to know. Exactly. I don't want to know. <laughs> but I was just thinking at the end of the episode there, like Sally reaching over to snuggle Barry, it's like, God, if you had any idea what he was just doing, yeah. like, he just killed the woman you all had dinner with last night. And it's, you know... Yeah. Can you ever really know somebody? Mm -hmm. That's the question. And my answer is no. No, it's fine. I don't need to. It's good. Whatever you got. But you, you can got. know us here on our yeah. YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, the, you know, what you see is what you get here on Ketchup Packets. We are literally always here in this seat watching shows. That's right. That's yeah. all we ever do. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess that about wraps it up for yeah. very season one. So thanks for joining yeah. us, everybody. Thank you so much, we guys. We appreciate so you guys returning you yeah. for the Barry viewings. Yeah. Um... And you know, until next time, I'm Nate. And I'm Sean. And this has been Ketchup Packets.